Hello, this is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and today I have uh, a small thrift haul of a few pieces that I found recently in a variety of places. Um, first off, this is a modern Monet piece, um, and it's unusual in that it has a double chain connecting each of these uh, links, and these links have marcasites. Got a beautiful center pendant and then the links continue all the way around. Um, and you can tell that it's modern, first of all, beside, because of the uh, patterning on the back of the pieces, which is, um, if you can, how well you can see that, there. So there's patterning on the back of each of the pieces. Uh, the use of the double chain, which is uh, a, more of a modern thing. And then the clasp marking uh, just has the little Monet on the circle here. It is, um, it isn't the sister clasp, but it is a different type of um, uh, lobster claw clasp. Um, again, marked Monet. So that's one piece I picked up just because I thought it was a really attractive modern piece. Um, then at my uh, Mission Thrift Store, um, they have an auction once a month, and I won these lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, where's the best? There we go. The lovely, these lovely Coro earrings, white enamel on gold tone with amazing rhinestones in here in excellent condition. You'd, you'd think they were never worn. And marked coral here on the back. I'm going to try to focus it in on it. There, finally. Oh, because it's upside down. Okay. So now I'll try to focus it on the back here so you can see where they are signed coral. Another pair of coral earrings. So I'll leave the focus there for a second. They're signed Coro. Yeah. So here's a lovely pair of flower um, coro earrings with rhinestones. Um, screw back and signed here on the back. This is a set I purchased from a vendor in the US um, through the one of the online jewelry groups on Facebook. And here's the beautiful necklace that goes with it. Um, it's in excellent condition. And the um, rhinestones are all there. It's beautifully shiny. Um, so I was quite thrilled to add this to my collection of coral pieces. Another um, coral piece that I purchased is this piece on the back here. Under the uh, pin, it says Coral Craft. So this is another line of coral pieces. And this is a gold tone pin um, with faux pearls. Now, some of the pearls have uh, lost a bit of their luster um, on that top edge there. I guess I really, can't really tell that uh, in the camera, but I can see that. Um, I'm not sure... If I'm going to replace all the pearls, I'd have to get uh, graduated pearls to do that. Um, and otherwise, it's in generally very good condition. So I might just see if I can um, buff them up and give them a little tender loving care and get a, a little shine back in there. Another signed uh, pair of earrings that I purchased were these neat earrings. I don't have any large... Um, you know, sort of hoop earrings, and these are screw back. Um, and you can see that they're signed here, and they are Napier. Beautiful gold tone earrings um, in immaculate condition. And they have this lovely adjustable uh, sort of clip screw back, so you can make them as uh, comfortable as you need. On a, in a totally different vein, I have this um, C clasp pin with the pin that sticks out quite a ways. Um, it could be a lethal weapon if you needed it to be. 
Um, and this is a Canateal flower pin. Silver tone, I don't think it's silver. I haven't tested it. Um, it could be, but I'm not too worried. I have uh, a fondness for these uh, style of things, so I've started picking them up as I see them, if the price is right. Um, so a beautiful little Canateal flower pin for my collection. And finally, um, this is faux. This isn't real amber. At least the green one definitely isn't. The gold ones probably aren't either because none of this is silver or anything. But I liked the heavy chain this was on. It's got um, barrel clasp, so it's uh, older. Um, but I liked the heavy chain. I actually liked the pendant, even though it's um, not real amber. Um, and again, it helped my mission thrift store um, by purchasing it, so the money went to a good cause. So just a few pieces um, that I thrifted, and I think this Monet necklace with the marcasites and the patterning on the back, the metal patterning, is really quite unique. Um, and it's a nice short sort of, not really choker, but, um, you know, close to the collar type necklace. So I look forward to uh, having a chance to wear that. Hope you've enjoyed um, these thrifted pieces and we'll see you next time here at Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes.